Tonight, a new report that security around Donald Trump was increased in recent weeks because U.S. intelligence learned of an Iranian plot to kill him, according to three officials briefed on the matter, raising even more questions about how a 20-year-old gunman in rural Pennsylvania with no apparent connection to the Iranian plot was able to get on a rooftop last Saturday and open fire on the former president. Moments before Thomas Crooks targeted the podium, a Butler Township police officer locked eyes with him, according to township manager Tom Knights. He was able to pull his head up over the roof. Um, he did, in fact, see an individual on the roof with a weapon. The officer was responding to a report that someone suspicious was on the roof, fellow officers boosting him up to check it out. And what did the shooter do? Turned towards him, um, had the barrel of his weapon pointed at the officer. And at that point, the officer's hanging on yes. to the side of the roof? Yes. Unable to pull a gun out? Unable to... Really, unable, unable to defend to, himself? Una unable to reach his radio? Any of that, yeah, yeah. Strictly defensive movement for him to lower his head, duck, um, lost his own grip, right? Fell approximately eight feet to the ground. Knight says the officers radioed a message on a channel that included the Secret Service to say the suspicious person was in fact a gunman. He does not know how much time passed before the shooter opened fire. This new video showing the moments after Secret Service tackled the former president to protect him. The Butler Township Police were not responsible for the security of the building, according to Knight but it's unclear which local agency was. The Secret Service says it was outside of their security perimeter and was primarily the responsibility of local law enforcement, even though the rooftop had a vantage point 148 yards from the podium. The AR-15, or variations, the M4, has a maximum effective range of 656 yards. Retired Secret Service agent Rich Staropoli also worked for the Department of Homeland Security under Trump. That building was nowhere near the outer perimeter. There is no excuse for not having someone posted on the roof of that building. The Secret Service tells ABC News that no one was put on the roof because it was dangerously sloped. That argument called into question because of images like these. The Secret Service did not respond to NBC News's multiple requests for comment, putting out a statement on X overnight. We are deeply grateful to the officers who ran towards danger to locate the gunman and to all our local partners for their unwavering commitment. Stephanie, it looks like a lot of pieces may be falling into place. I know you're also learning there was another moment along the way that the shooter had been reported as suspicious. Yeah, Lester, four officials tell us that rally goers noticed crooks at the metal detectors pacing and acting strangely. Police then notified the Secret Service, according to a U.S. official. All of this happening before crooks got on that rooftop, Lester. All right, Stephanie Goss tonight. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.